sometimes on this channel we like to have a little joke. We like to have a little drape, a little fun and games, okay? I'm well aware, fundamentally aware, that she was failing the surgery because she was one foot in the grave. L literally, she only had one foot. We like to have a little jape and a little joke. Oh, Kai, you ragamuffin. Failing the surgeries again as she's hunched over dying. I know, I know that that's what was causing it. Which is why at the end of the episode, I turned her into fucking Robocop. Da -da -da. Na -na -na -na. Anyway, she's all better now. She's all better. She's fine. She's Other than the tremendous amount of pain she's in, she's absolutely fine now. I mean, everybody is in some degree of... Tremendous amount of pain. That's something I'll try and solve today. As a reminder, the game plan, which there are naysayers about, I have seen you out there, is to move to the city. You know, the city next to the spaceship that can get us off this doomed planet, which I think is on a peninsula we can secure. I will bring peace and uh, prosperity, you get it, to Timon's new empire. You, wonder, you know where I'm going with this. A few more adjustments, a few more weapons, some locust armor for everybody, because the insect theme in this series has been subtle, but it has been there, and I'm a big fan of it. Obviously, I'm not going to swap out Timon's beetle fragile armor for the inferior locust armor. Everybody knows that a beetle could beat up a locust in a fight. That's why they call them beetles and not weaked tools. <laughs> the hell's going on? Why are there so many Hyperweave chef hats lying around? Hold on. Give that to Chef Will. He's the actual chef. Well, he's not anymore. He retired and his wife took over. He just, he just put a chef hat with a gun link. That's amazing. He did not. He put the gun link in his pocket. Bella, congratulations. You've got the chef's gun link now. Would some sort of marine armor be much more appropriate than chef hat for a man who's not even a chef anymore? He's just, he's just Will. He's just Will from now on. If it wasn't for that chef hat, this man would be out there trying to sell you NFTs, okay? He's starting a, a web 5.0 business. Here's, here's the bigger problem I've just considered, right? I can't call a chef Mariana when the much more obvious sh chef Linguini is on the table. <laughs> <laughs> Title, just Will. No, he's not. He's colony leader, okay? We're going to call him, uh, I feel like, president or something like that. It's a little bit grandiose. You know what? I think they call him boss. Oh, don't scare me like that. I mean, boss. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I'm sharp today. Holy shit. It must be that two hours of sleep and 500 degree fever I've got. They call him boss, you know, like... You know, like, sure thing, boss. You know, like, he is in charge, but they're, 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 they're friends. You know, ultimately, they're all, they're all friends. Look at all these bloody vaults we can see. So I've got an idea. Why don't we send... Well, I was going to send Chef Will, but um, why, why don't we send Timon and maybe Banana, because she's a bit more heavily armored. The old squad's getting back together. Why don't we helicopter them over to a vault, and why don't we crack open the vault and see if we can find some ancient furniture to eventually take us to the city. Keep it minified for a while. Oh, well, well, maybe I should take someone good at hacking. Who's good at hacking? Banana is good at hacking. They're all pretty all right at research, actually. Banana's our best intellectual character, really? Oh, I'll kill two birds with one stone then, fine. I guess we'll start with the closest vault in case there is a real emergency, but to be honest, I think this uh, uh, these turrets have got it covered. I'm not really that concerned anymore. The only times they ever seem to really get the drop on us is when they literally get the drop on us by dropping in at the front door. Other than that, but I think we're fine. I think we've got anything to worry about. Oh, is that a raid? What did it stutter? Oh, you son of a bitch! The, the helicopter takes off and the mushrooms come running. I see how it is. And, and yet, still no one believes me that the hive mind is intelligent. How do you explain that then, huh? That we were waiting for the helicopter to leave before they came and attacked us. G granted, they're not attacking us in the smartest way. Oh, my toads. I'm so sorry. They were just so hungry for explosive zombie meat. Oh, I didn't need to draft these people up, did I? Zazu's arrived at its destination. Great. Oh, they're probably so worried. They're so worried. They take off and they see a whole horde approaching. Ooh, it's only a little tiny vault this time. Oh, God, look at all the crap. Crossbows and medicine the whole way down. Uh, I mean, we could just drop it here. That'll make things nice and convenient. Now, a lot of people thought they they got some amazing gotcha moment by pointing out that I could have just used the cure, the Xenotype Nullifier, on the mushroom person. You remember I had Simon in the prison? We could have used that on Simon, and then we could have cured Simon and recruited Simon. However, I've shown on video 100,000 times before, not that anyone listens to me, just to drive that point home here, use Xenotype Nullifier on, I don't know, Howard. You see, there's not even an option. Whereas normally, I, I wonder if I could just target a regular person with it. I should be able to because it just removes the Xenotype. There you go. So when we can use it on a valid person, we get that little circle. Sorry for spending so long on this. It's just... It's just... Uh, people don't listen. People don't listen. I can't help it. Goddamn Zuma mindset where if things aren't moving a thousand miles an hour and I'm not saying it in a funny voice, people don't listen. 
Yo, why is Timon hacking that? Piss off, Timon. And hello there. We have an ancient water filter. I don't think we can minify, but that would be kind of fun. Arctic wolves trapped in the vault, affected by a viral buildup. So they might be horrible mutant wolves. Should we shoot them? Oh, one's a fox. You know what? I'm not breaking up this Disney Pixar type family they've got going on here. And uh, that's it. Dead end, I'm afraid. Oh, oh, shit. There's two of the doors down here. Man, these vaults are so strange. I do like the, the weird vault layouts where there's lots of different entrances, but... My god, it's a lot of work. You know what, Timon? Get that door hacked. Timon hacked the last doors to get us into our current vault, if I'm not mistaken. Plus, he's a super Cyberman with an Arco arm, so it's not going to take him that long. In fact, he was far quicker than Banana. Well, that's embarrassing, isn't it? Um, this is also a dead end. Where am I supposed to get power from, though? And since when can you just deconstruct vault doors? There must be a mod doing that, because I swear that is in standard behavior. Oh, pipeline junction, my best friend. And then another door behind it. We found enough meals so they can stay here. Basically forever. This can be Timon's new home. Okay. Whoa, hello. <gasps> Man time. <laughs> I see you watch JoJo's Bizarre Adventure as well. Whoa, whoa, you're not an ancient super soldier though, are you? Oh, you are. You're allied as well. Why are you allied? That's not right. You're not Timon's army. I mean, I'm not complaining. Can we... Can you join us, Man time? Looks he's already part of the faction. The faction is ancient soldiers. You're going to get people to join you aren't part of a standard faction. Oh. Okay, fair enough then. I suppose we've just freed another one. Maybe the other ancients put in a good word about Timon. Maybe if Will had turned up, this would be a different situation, but everybody knows the beetle-headed savior. Oh my god, you know I've got to do it. 40-year-old slaughterer named Trudy is being hunted by 47 polar bears. <laughs> I wonder why that happened, Trudy. You slaughtered the wrong thing, no doubt. She is apparently a fungoid. Oh, interesting. Would you look at that? Okay, I, I mean... We, we can cure her. We have the technology. 47 man-hunting polar bears. So I think I'd probably have to send Timon back. How long until that goes? Oh, it expires in five hours. We've got four people capable of violent. We've got a lot of turrets and a lot of fire. Polar bears hate fire. And I would assume they also hate bullets. In fact, we're almost done with this vault. Uh, we probably can't hold out, though, can we? Oh, Jesus. Okay, you know what? Let him cook. I hate this idea. This is, this is the worst thing I'm ever about to do. We're going to try and take on 47 polar bears. If, if we just keep the door locked and everybody indoors, the polar bears can't get to us. It was just a manhunter pack. What are they going to do? Smash down the doors? I'd like to see them try. We just do that and guarantee our people can't go outside no matter what. Even if I forget uh, and go back to see Tim and maybe there's an emergency and, and, and they undraft, everything is okay. Savannah, I'm going to put you there. Let's put that flamethrower to good use. Where's your flamethrower gone, Savannah? Oh, she's a brawler. Yeah, no, I remember. I remember this conversation. Okay, and then Br Big Brain Kai can go and hide. Actually, you might as well carry on with work. Let's fight some polar bears then, shall we? 47 of them, though. I thought they were endangered. Nature's healing. Hello, Trudy. How are you? Little, little fungoid. Hello. Uh, Trudy Grimson. Nice that we've actually got someone capable of combat. 10 animals, double passion. Yeah, no, I can tell. Slaughtered animals for a living. Okay, maybe you should go and hide now. Maybe you've had enough slaughtering for one week. Tim has revealed a new area. And it's another wolf. So this one's very, very well fed. Oh, my God. <gasps> Timon swapped his armor. Oh, my God, because his beetle frack's almost broken. You know what? We have research, if I haven't already done it, that is. Uh, I had mending on the research menu. Yeah, we've already done it because we already had some blueprints for it. So let's not wear that. Let's take it back and get it fixed. Otherwise, we've got the same situation as Chef's legendary cataphract armor, right? I'm not going to get alerted when the raid turns up, so be careful. Just be careful. Trudy, I need you. Oh! That'll be the polar bears then. Hello, how are you doing? You just shot my door out, goddamn you. Okay, well, good luck, I suppose. I think the flamethrowers are going to be incredible here. I can put a lot of heavy lifting. Oh my god, there's so many. <laughs> I've had an entire series where I've collected a group of esoteric and strangely dressed polar bears and I don't think I've ever seen this many polar bears before. Hey, shoot them, you big bitch! Oh, we're out of camp fuel. Okay, well, fair enough. I'll, I'll allow it. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. Die. Boil and die. Somewhere Michael Jackson's Earth song is playing. I mean, I can't play in the video because I'll get copyright strike, but you, un you understand the connotation. Oh, they're getting all tangled in the barbed wire. Oh, God, they're getting shredded by the barbed wire, too. Oh, this is all manner of fucked up. Oh, I feel terrible. Chef Linguini reached level 13 <laughs> shooting. Great work, Mariano. We're proud of you. Credit to the polar bears. This is the first raid we've ever seen that have managed to breach 
that have managed to get past our kind of final line there of barbed wire. And the most damage I think we took from that whole raid was from our own auto cannon turret blasting the bloody doors open. Well, that was horrific. That was absolutely horrific. Thank you. Go about your business. Tim, what have you found for me, my friend? A big old box. A big old hermetic box. We've got enough medicine to cure maybe the entire planet at this point. Very fancy looking assault rifle. I think that's it then, huh? No other doors, no other surprises, no other... No sealed ancient sarcophagi. That's it. Inside was two advanced components. Great. What happened to man time? Oh, man time. Man time's dying. Can we rescue man time? I could capture man time, but I don't want any superpowers. What's he got? Super speed and bloodlust. Oh, I don't like it. I don't like it. I think we'll rescue him. I could capture him and then patch him up and then release him. I can't just leave him here to die, but I'm sure as hell not going to... I, I just don't want to recruit anybody with the, with the superpowers, though. Put him back in crypto sleep. Genius. Okay, that doesn't work either. Okay, we're just going to have to take him home with us. We're just going to have to take him back to safety, Tim. And okay, let's reform the caravan. Let's see what we can actually get that's minimized then. We'll take the cooking station. We'll take the mending station for sure. Saves me having to build one. Ancient workshop. Could be useful. But I know all this ancient stuff works in a solar flare. So that's actually quite useful. Is that, sorry, is that wardrobe made of gems? Take one of those too, if you don't mind. We've got you and then everything... It's good to go. I just gotta, you know, actually set someone up as the pilot now. That's <clears throat> what I would say if I could, if I could get Tim and home. Doesn't seem to be agreeing with me. Oh no, that the helicopter's fine, right? We got plenty of fuel. We've got all the fuel we could ever need. There we go. Perfect. So then, Trudy, hello. Uh, yeah, about those aggression spores. We're gonna have to deal with those very quickly. That's my bad. For oh Jesus Christ, Tim and, uh, let's get you quickly blasted. That'll put you in a coma for a few days, but. That's someone else actually capable of combat. So I couldn't be happier. Craft biomics that can help process bodily waste and manage personal hygiene. The gamer research. Now, a lot of you pointed out in the comments last time that the uh, climate is doing wonders for us. And I know that. That's why we live here. The, the, the frost, the snow is keeping us in a very safe way. What if we take over the city and then we freeze the city. Not only have we got the, the the sun blocker, which would already do a damn good job of lowering temperature, but between the weather controller and the climate adjuster too, we could set it to always snow, block the sun, and and hopefully set it to an ice age. I don't know how the climate adjuster works. I've not used this mod before, but this sounds like a pretty interesting combo. That oh my god, okay, well, there's a lot of there's a lot of preamble here. There's a lot of stuff to do, and the only way we can get this stuff is from exotic goods traders. Is a very very rare technology that they might sell but we could just build our own arctic in the city freeze the mushrooms out because we know it works on to the next vault in preparation for our eventual move to the city see if we can steal some more stuff this vault appears to be massive i wonder if this is the vault that i said no to the first time we saw it actually it's clearly not though because the door's at the top oh my god there are some enormous vaults in this huh those are nice the ancient point defense turrets, those are amazing to pick up. Sorry, can we take off? Can we can we change where the helicopter has landed? Because I feel like I made a horrible mistake here. Hang on. Hang on, hang on. Launch, and then, um... Oh, bollocks. Well, that's okay. I suppose it doesn't matter if there's nothing hostile here. It's just, you know, if a bunch of mushrooms turn up or a raid turns up, we need to get out of here in a hurry. I don't know, like 27 manhunter polar bears? We're not going to be able to get out of here in a hurry, are we? I don't like not being able to keep an eye on Zazu. We should add that to the research list. Uh, what was it? Cargo helicopter? Heli hel helicopter? Helicopter? There's definitely helicopters in this. Don't you lie to me. I'm still not sure we should be allowed to take apart these vault doors because I think we can bypass. Yeah, I think we can bypass a lot of stuff doing that, but that's okay. While they're over there, before I forget, mending station. Mending station and get everything fixed ASAP. This is a great job for Bella to to build her up as a backup crafter. It's actually like the perfect situation for her. Mend apparel, do forever, and then Bella. Perfect. What, what, what do you need to actually do that though? Is it is it free? You just go grab some shit and then put it on there. Oh, you use our portion of the original cost. Okay, fair enough. Uh, in that case, I'm not sure we can repair the beetle frat, but we'll um. Oh no. Are we gonna need crab shell to fix it? Because that could be a real problem. More ancient turrets. Ancient turrets, amazing, because then we haven't ever got to worry about solar flares. Thank you, cargo pods and a quest for a prison warden. Come on, Timon. Come on, Timon, you know what we have to do here. Boom, another door. Another water filter. I'm not complaining. Two water filters in one city seems kind of sensible, to be honest. More doors that lead to moonless leather beret? I'd imagine most leather berets are moonless, yes. Unless they're particularly massive. Jesus Christ. <laughs> 
<laughs> what an insane amount of resources, huh? Good lord. I'm so glad I changed my mind about that first vault that we found. Otherwise, that would have made all the progression ruined. I mean, at this point, when you've got the helicopter, it's pretty easy to come across the resources, right? So I'm not so concerned. What happened here? Oh, holy shit. This place is enormous. Look at the size of it. You think this whole mountain could be a vault? Because look at how many bloody doors there are to hack. In fact, there are other vault doors I can open up too. Oh, we've got marine armor. We've got marine helmets. We've got some LMGs there too. Better than nothing, of course. The supply slingshot, I think we can take with us to a city. Which comms console, I don't think we'll do anything here. Oh my god. <laughs> this is batshit. This is too much stuff. Oh, ancient hydroponics. Actually, on the subject of ancient hydroponics, people were saying that those other hydroponics that we saw, that I was like, okay, they're only half as good as regular hydroponics. We probably won't take them. They are still as good, even without power and without nutrients, as rich soil. And in a city where there's probably not going to be much soil at all, that could be really, really important. It's even got an outdoor area. Hello! Caitlin Worthington. Uh, Catalan Worthington. Sorry, that also reminded me. What happened to that person that I bought back? Do you think they just walked off? They didn't capture them. I hope they're okay. I mean, it was a little bit warmer here, so maybe they were fine. I totally forgot about them. My bad. Well done, Timon. You're such a savior. There's a lot of doors. There's a lot of doors, and I haven't got a lot of patience. This is kind of ridiculous. Holy shit, it's just doors leading to other doors. <laughs> this is insane. What the hell have we found here? 41 got of old medicine. Oh my god. Two bionic spines. Oh my god, it's a bionics room. Tim, and come back so I can see what the hell's going on. Two bionic spines, a bionic arm, a bionic tongue, more bionic arms, shitloads of medicine. I feel like we're barely even halfway. I don't think we are halfway. Timon's under attack. Timon's under attack. Timon? Timon? Lost a frostbite. He lost his jaw to frostbite? <gasps> Where'd his beetle helmet go? What? Why was your beetle helmet? What, what do you mean he lost his jaw to frostbite? Minus the. Oh, it's minus 52. Holy shit. God damn, there's no wonder you lost your jaw to frostbite. Hold on, where's that marine armor? That will hopefully be a bit more insulated. Here, here come, come grab this. Come grab this. Never spent so long trying to hack into a vault, your jaw falls off? Oh, it's fucked up. <laughs> we might just have to get him home. I might have to send him home. And how are you not freezing? What the hell's your comfortable temperature range? Minus 64. Seems like that mollusk shell stuff is a little bit more more insulating. Damn. Okay, um, Banana, you stay here. I'm going to send Tim and home. No, we have to send two people. We just have to take what we've got now and we'll have to leave. I, I'm not letting Timon take damage to try and get loot. God, we found a grand total of 1,000. Oh my god. 1,000 chem fuel, 300 packs of armors. I don't think we need any more. I will take the glass of all medicine. That's fine. Seven plasteel seems a little bit of a disappointment. 17 steam geezers if we want to take those. Y you know, you drive a hard bargain. I think I'm all right though. Thank you. I will take the marine armor for sure. We'll take that recon gear too. Ancient batteries, ancient solar generators, ancient crypto suspenders, ancient security and point defense turrets. That's the good shit right there. It's a good job we were able to reform that caravan. Otherwise, Tim genuinely might have bled out running back to the helicopter. Survive maybe me freezing the whole city. You can't like bleed out now, right? The helicopter comes to a screaming crash above the city. That would suck. Did I grab those bionics? I don't think I did. Damn, okay, you know what? It doesn't really matter too much because we didn't need them. They'd have just been nice to have as a backup. Whereas these things we can't rebuild. These these, these are so rare by comparison. So I, I'm actually fine with that. Let's get Tim and patched up. And in fact, let's get Tim in some warmer clothes. Oh, Trudy's back up. Trudy, hello. Let's go cut that mushroom off. Operation freeze the city. I wasn't really expecting that we do this, but this seems good. Recon adjust the construction fundamentals. All research or all research adjusters are grouped under one drop down in the MISC architect tab. Cool. I wonder if the cities will sell it. Maybe we'll take a trip to a city instead. It's slightly safer. Look at Trudy. God damn, what a slayer. <laughs> some dwarfism, fun loving, night owl, amazing. A party Trudy. What a goddamn character, huh? She probably built her a bed or somewhere to sleep at the very least. I'm going to give Tim a day off or two or three or four days off. And then Will and... Send Will and Banana this time. Let's go to the city. Let's go load up with a bunch of silver. Do I actually have enough? Not really. We're going to have to take something else to sell. See if we can find and buy some of these regional adjusters then. Or at least the core that we need to build it. We'll sell some lungs because we don't really need those. Those are those old damage asthmatic lungs, but they don't need to know that. Well, there isn't anything that will let me, in theory, freeze the city, allowing our people to live forever. But there is a giant obelisk. So I will be buying that along with a new TV. <laughs> <laughs> well, on the plus side, we can see everywhere now, so we can just, like, fly to a bunch of places, 
Trade with Pawn. Say, I don't suppose you people have come across a regional climate adjuster? I will admit, I don't really know what I'm looking for. I don't really know what I'm looking for. I, I know vaguely what I'm looking for. Plasteel bin. God damn, you people live well. Arcotech arm. Ooh. I might have to sell the television. Timmer needs a new arm. Here, let's sell this crap for a start. Let's get rid of all this shit. Give me that Arcotech arm. I should check the last place see if they had an Arcotech arm. I bought a new television, an obelisk, and a fancy arm. We're still no closer to being able to freeze the city. We'll get them. We'll get them. You just gotta be patient, okay? We'll find it. Nothing. <laughs> but they do have an Arcotech eye. Timon. Oh, I can't afford that. I would have to sell the TV and the obelisk. I still can't afford it. Whatever. Whatever. Okay, this time we'll go crack open a vault fully and take all the stuff from the vault fully without having to worry about my people dying. So I'll send somebody more reliable than than Timon. He's really let me down today. I need somebody capable of surviving at like absolute zero, which I think is like only banana. A banana and Savannah. Oh, okay. Power squad. Let's go. Ironic. They call you Savannah, yet you are capable of being freezing cold. Maybe that's because she's so inherently warm. You got to think about these things. Did I not eject the TV? Oh, balls. Well, see you later then. Don't break that TV. Oh my god, it's another enormous vault. Wait, is this the same vault we saw last time? Uh, it could be, possibly. They seem very similar, don't they? Uh, there's certainly no entrance down here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's find the entrance. This time I'm going to land the helicopter somewhere safely in case someone starts freezing to death. Okay, I have no idea where the entrance is, so I'm just going to take a gamble and hope it's up here. Where the hell is the entrance to this vault, though? Normally, if you run across the edge, you can find it, but I think this thing has... Oh, there's a sandstone wall there. I wonder if it's here and I've just <laughs> landed on the other side of the map again. There's also a building here that it could potentially be behind. Oh, what a goddamn mess. Ooh, hello. Hello, better, closer, warmer. Are you good at mining? Banana is good at everything. B a big shout out to Banana. She is the savior of this colony. Okay, well, it's not there then. Is there even a vault here? Wait, is this definitely the vault? Is there not like another vault elsewhere? No, I think it's definitely here. It's big brain time. It's big brain time. Look, 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 there's something here. There's something here. There's something here. Whoa, whoa, what was that? Power conduit. Okay. Oh, there's something here. There's something here. Trust the system. <gasps> and your lamppost. Oh my god, he's onto something. What a big brain. What a big, enormous, massive brain. What's that? Slate. Well, I don't know what I'm onto, but I'll find it eventually, I'm sure. <laughs> Hello! Ancient point defense turret! Ah! Oh! This whole vault is buried. Look, there's steel in the wall. Legendary wall steel. Hello? Am I in the... Am I even in the right neighborhood here? Just send it. Just send it and see what you can find. Nothing. Okay. This is insane. Ah! Oh, we found it. Vault door. Oh my god, what a pain in the ass. What a pain in the ass, but we finally got it. Also enormous, but less doors overall. So you know what? I'm happy to see it. Man, this is like big rooms. This is so much better. Not as many resources, though, from the looks of it. But that's okay. That's okay. Honestly, I don't mind. Speed is the important thing. God damn. God damn. There's so much going on. I can't keep up with it all. They're absolutely unstoppable. Look at them go. There's more hydroponics, ancient geothermal plants. That's all we like to see. Holy shit. <laughs> These vaults are insane, aren't they? They're absolutely nuts. Uh, we got ancient power and some shelves with some lovely medicine. No people. That's unfortunate. Vault door, are we good? There's two more I've missed, apparently. Now, let's see if we find some useful stuff for this bloody city, then. I'll take the medicine. I'll take the components. I'm not taking that many meals, but I will take a few. Give me that. Give me that. Uh, 69 super nanites. Huh. I mean, I could sell them. Trade them. Just just take them around for bartering, and any that we can't sell, we just dump. I think that's good. We're a little bit beyond just, like, silver. It, it, it's more about what we can actually carry and trade with these people now. Don't forget to bring that arm with you. Timon needs that. Timon doesn't need that, but I want Timon to have that. Oh, we take the geothermal plant. Security turrets, point defense turrets, and another water filter. Boom. Thank you. Okay, hear me out then. Fly the ship. Where, where, did, we, where did we trade with last time? We traded with you. Did we trade with the fellowship encampment? I think we did. Let's trade with the Butwag. Hello there. You don't happen to sell something that will change the face of the planet, do you? No? In that case, have 66 super nanites and call me in the morning. <laughs> yeah, I really don't want to keep those on the home base, if that's okay. For, for, for fairly obvious reasons, I think. Gastroanalyzer. Give me that. Give me that reprocessor stomach, too. I might as well get something for my money's worth. Um, prestige marine armor? Yeah, sure. Why not? Give me that gold, too. And uh, enjoy. Enjoy your superpowers. Oh, they don't have enough silver to fully cover the transaction. You really don't say. Now we're allied to them because I just gave them... Uh, <laughs> we just went from, like, 
pretty unhappy but relatively neutral with the hostile survivors to allied instantly. Let's go to the creamy factory then. Wait, that's not the creamy factory. <gasps> There's the creamy factory. Let's go to the creamy factory then. Uh. Hello? Well, I guess there are raiders here. Not that we have to worry about that type of thing anymore. Although I will admit these flame turrets are good. They are absolutely swallowing up all chem fuel. Like the second we get any chem fuel at all, whether it's making it at the biofuel refinery, which has cost us pretty much all of our food, or whether it's bringing it back from these vaults, it's just like gone straight away. Last time we came to a creamy factory, we were chased off by mushrooms. And this time, having come back, there's nothing here. It's all broken down machinery or some other nutrient pack crates, which to be fair, had like 400 meals in when we smashed them before. I think we're good. Possible unknown threat. Yeah, Chef Will. We can just reform right away and leave, and I'm absolutely going to do that if you don't mind. Let's have a look. Uh, oh, my God. 20, what is that? 23,000 insect meat? What are you people doing here? 2,000 human meat? <laughs> can you turn insect meat into chem fuel? Why wouldn't you be able to turn insect meat into chem fuel? It's probably a better question. Give me that. Let's give it with me. Ancient heaters. Psychic emanators. Two of them. Oh, my God. I think that it's the ruins, once again, contributing more so than... The ancient stuff that we found, but this is cooler. Okay, so ancient hydroponics. Those are the things we need to take. So let's grab those. These are damaged. They're only useful for destroying. Okay. And these are the ones that, again, has uh, uh, less efficiency than regular hydroponics, but don't need power. So they're still very, very useful. And... Okay, not as bad as I expected with the 11,000 insect meat. My goal was to get everything we needed today to make city life comfortable, and I think we've pretty much nailed it. All the power, all the batteries, all the defenses, everything we'll need just to get set up and going. But in a moment, when we abandon the vault, the colony wealth is going to go to nothing compared to what it is right now. We're talking like a factor of 10 less, so we're, we're, we're good. Like, Timmy will be able to gun down anything that turns up at the front door by himself. Well, we've got to be careful of the surprise attacks. People come through bedroom walls. The, uh, uh, you know, potential for enemies just being in buildings behind doors. The, hydro, the hygiene and, and the bionic bladder would be really nice, but I don't think it's necessary. The lungs, I think I want to send it, and I want to make sure everybody's got the detoxifier lungs. Who needs them? Because I think a lot of people have already got them. Okay, so there's only four people that need them. You need a new eye. I think I've already got a new eye, so you're fine. You have nothing, but I'm not just going to make you bionic for no reason. It's about saving humanity, after all. You could do with a new arm, but... Ah, 26 out of 30. It's barely put a dent in it. It's, it's not really worth it. And of course, they have been busy while we've been away. Look at all these charge SMGs that we've got going for us now. Who do I want to give them to? Do we want to swap out the LMGs? Ah, not really. Mariana having one of these as a sidearm would be pretty nice. So let's give you that. Same with Savannah as well. I think just giving her a spare one would be pretty good. In terms of armor then, I want to make Locust armor for... Shit, like one, two, three, four people. I think four sets of locust armor would be pretty nice. Actually, you know what? Maybe one for Kai as well. My lovely sweet boy Timon. Stone skin gland for the torso. Reprocessor stomach for his stomach. Let's also give him a healing enhancer too, because I think you can have both, right? Arcotech arm for the right shoulder. And then I think that's pretty much all I can do with you. Chef, did I put your ear back? I did put your ear back. So Chef's fine. Mariana could do with some help. And honestly, I think giving her a a bionic eye. So if we give her like a bionic eye and then a... Shit, maybe a bionic right arm as well. If I can get Bella up to level 8 crafting, she can help out. She can help out with components. She can help out with bionics. She can do a whole bunch of stuff. She's basically there. So just keep repairing that skirt and you'll be good. Just repair the skirt forever. What's going on with that? Huh. Oh. <laughs> Oh, oh, that's a bit of an exploit, isn't it? Hello there, I see you. Look at this squad that we've got. Tell me we're not ready to move to the city, I dare you. Look at this shit. Look at how far we've come from hiding in buildings, barely able to get out the front door to this. This is our planet now, mushroom people. This is our planet. What was that? <gasps> oh, you shitbags. Oh, you shitbags. Wait, what? They didn't smash the vault wall. They just deconstructed it. They just deconstructed it. You're not allowed to do that. Since when is that a thing you're allowed to do? Are they they're in the vault? Oh, shit. Very clever. Kai, I don't mean to alarm you. Stay there. Lock the door. Careful. Okay. Okay. I wasn't actually expecting them to ever break through there. How did they do that? That is a bunch of shit 
That is a bunch of real shit. Not a problem, because I can just patch it back up with armored walls. We've just got to be very careful for the next five minutes or so while we... Oh, slowly move forward. Mariana, come down. Mariana, come down. You move across. Let's really secure the vault here, people. And they're potentially going around... Oh, they're going around the outer ring now. Okay, Timon, come over here. Let's crack this door open. Oh, there's one right there. I see you. Don't think I can't see you. Okay, careful, 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 Timon. Get it? Timon? Oh, Timon, you fuck. Bring the rest of the squad to here. Timon may just go berserk. Oh, he's away. Oh, my guy. Okay. Do you think that's it? Do you think we're safe? I'm not entirely sure that's the case. I'm going to send three of you over here. You're going to stand there and hold that. And then we're going to send you lot very slowly up in this direction. They can't get through around here because they haven't smashed the door. Maybe they could have gone all the way around this edge, but I very much doubt it. Oh my god, I never thought they'd get into the vault. This is cool. For all the wrong reasons. Okay. Okay, I think we're fine. I think we're fine. That is a little bullshit, though, that apparently they can just take apart the vault walls, and I'm not entirely sure why or what has caused them to be able to do that. Very rapidly get Timon to build this up and box us back in. There you go. So if they want to come back through now, oh, for God's sake, Tim, and how many times? If they want to come back through now, they've got to smash through like 6,000 hit points worth of walls. Which isn't that much compared to the vault walls, admittedly, but it's not a good strider. Show me. Show me that beacon. And then we can head to the city. Come on, come on. Show me something. Show me something I can use here. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. That's okay. That's okay. We'll make do. Coagulator, circadian assistant is fine. I'm all right with that one. Um, let's buy some more spacer ammo because that's far cheaper than us having to craft all the stuff, given how fast we're going through it now. Come on, come on. You know I'm good for it. You know I'm good for it. Just sell me that. What is that? Car wiring. God damn you. Just sell me the sell me the thing. Sell me the dynamo. Sell me the thing that lets me control the weather. I don't even know what it's called. You can definitely buy it from traders. I checked the workshop page. Look at the speed. Triple research. EMP cannon. I don't think we're ever going to need that. Thank you. God damn, we might just accidentally go across Cataphract Helmet if we're not careful. And climate adjuster. What is that we need? What is that? One of those. What is that? Oh, it remains a mystery. What is it? Tell me what it is. Weather controller, orbital access relay, of course. I probably could have guessed that. And then uh, there's also the climate adjuster too, both of which will probably come in handy. This one is climate adjuster, orbital access relay. Without further ado, the final bionics are to be installed. I think uh, Timon. Timon has, just to double check here, Stone skin gland and a healing enhancer. We could also give him a coagulator. And then Timon, Timon never dies. I think at this point, Timon is totally invincible. Well, obviously not. But he would be very, very hard to bite and very hard for them to do any damage to. The problem is, if he does get bitten, or more specifically, if he gets the aggressive spores, he's going to be a lot harder to take down, given that I made him so tough. Can you only install a gastroanalyzer into somebody with a nose? Well, that seems a bit ridiculous, given that I bought it to be a nose replacement for Timon because he hasn't got one. I, I physically cannot give him a, a, a nose again. Okay, or maybe it's because Chef is a chef. A new eye and then a gastro analyzer for Chef Linguini. That makes perfect sense because she's also the chef and she needs that as a replacement. A banana can have a new arm and a new leg. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. They're all becoming bionic. But you know what? We're doing it for good. We're doing it for good. Damn, it's crazy how good Big Brain Kai is at surgery. Now, look at that. I wonder why suddenly she's so, so good. She barely makes any sense. <laughs> and with that, everybody should be cured. Look at this. We've got a big toe, which I'm not going to replace. Timon's missing a nose, which apparently I can't replace. Banana and I think it was Savannah have massive scars on the torso, which really need... Oh, it's Kai. We really need to do something about that, but there's not a lot I can short of throwing in the Biosculptor. We have a lot of nutrition right now, so I, I could do it. It was at this moment he knew. He fucked up. <laughs> Cyborgs versus mushrooms. I think that's what we need to rebrand to. Well, I mean, if we're going to be completely honest with it, it would be our uh, mini turrets versus mushrooms, which, to be honest, is nowhere near as appealing. Flame turret versus ditches. That's probably a bit more appropriate. Hey, you watch my helicopter, though. You watch that helicopter. Decided to steal what they can and leave. Wow, that was um unexpected. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you all remember that time I tried to turn the difficulty up and everyone got angry at me because of a, a totally random unrelated thing that happened? <sighs> yeah, me too. Me too. Hey, thank God I didn't turn that difficulty up, though, because this is difficult. I'm sweating here. If anybody deserves days in the Biosculptor, it's Big Brain Kai. Big Brain Kai has given us everything. 
23.5 days. Okay, maybe, maybe not that much. I can overload it. If we do it to a thousand percent, that's like two days instead. Honestly, even two days is 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 very generous. You know what? Fuck off. Kai deserves it. Get in the pod. Fill that pod. Get in that pod. What are they going to fill it with? We got 400 packages or 500 packages survivor meals. I presume you're going to fill it with that. Is that 200 packages? So for 300 packages survivor meals just went on that. <laughs> 300 packages survivor meals, right? To to treat one of those scars ends in 1.2 days. What have I done? What have I done? There's another exotic goods trader. Will. They do sell 37 Luciferium, though, which I would be remiss not to buy after the issues we've had before. So here, let's, let's see if we can scrounge up. Oh, my God. Scrounge up enough. Apparently, we've got 52 flake. I'm not going to ask any questions. Oh, I can sell all these fucking lungs because we've got loads of lungs. Let's buy that glitter wall medicine, too. Uh, and then, you know what? Actually, let me keep some of those to trade with some other people. Boom. Do I need five and a half years worth of Luciferium? Uh, no, no, not really. And with that, that is everything I think we need to do before we head to the city. I have I've finished the research on the cargo helicopter so that if this thing breaks down, we can build another one. And maybe we should get enough resources in reserve or maybe even build the parts in reserve so that we can automatically build another as a backup if things get a little spicy. Big Brain Kai is finished with the first cycle in the pod. I could put it back. Now at a thousand percent, it's 1.9 days because of course it's attuned to her, right? She deserves to be cured, but there is nothing else here for us. I agree with what someone said in the comments. We need a beachhead. We need somebody to go over there first, take a bunch of stuff, and and, and, and prepare things. We send Timon with the Plasteel, and he, he secures maybe the whole city. Oh, fuck. <laughs> or the helicopter gets destroyed before we head off. Maybe that too. I think we'll be fine. Right, yeah, don't, don't. Can you not, though, baby beans? God damn, that one took a long time to bring down. Don't get too comfortable. Overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Tomorrow, we take the whole city, and I turn this planet into a paradise. But overconfidence will get us killed. But I am going to build a brand new Garden of Eden, minus the mushrooms. The people are happy and healthy and at full health. The resources have been gathered. And more importantly, we have a backup for the helicopter if things go awry. The only thing we're missing is the climate adjuster. It's time to shake things up, for better or worse. This could be the worst decision I ever make. But they're not happy in this vault, and maybe they'll never be happy. There's no, they, they can't stretch their legs, they can't enjoy nature, they cannot breathe fresh air here in the polluted Arctic. Let's get to that city, let's secure it, and let's turn it into a home. Let's prepare for that happy ending, and then we grab the ship, and then people who want to leave can leave. And maybe not everybody chooses to leave, but that's that's what we'll offer them there. And then, thank you to Enamony, an enemy of Anemones. Kish, Ghost Talk, Nighthawk 18, Deets, Flight Gamer, 007162, Robert Del Rosario, Rambler Uno, Jared, Atubes, and Baxterino, Mordecai Zuba, Dexter Lowe, Cal 345, Natalie Mulder, Roan, Anthony Fackenthal, King Jar Jar, Essidus, Nikolai Nielsen, or Kansas Goochman, Noodle Poking, Cashless Slaughter, Vivi Heiter, Evelyn X, Bill Zasparilla, and Cletus for their support today. The executive producer is over on Patreon. Please bear with me. Maybe soon I won't have a cold. I've had to pause this episode a thousand times to blow my nose and not die of illness. Thank you. Thank you as well to Rave Pirate, Maz Dingo, Gendalf Spanish, Coos, DQ, Mad Maven, Trash, Panda, Paladin, Thorn Midwinter, Europala 84, Runar, Toasty Buns, Armor, Flexi Glass, Noteworthy, and Jaredin. Goodbye.